Hello, I'm Andrea Abert. I'm the mom of eight kids. We full-time RV around the United States of America. I'm going to show you how you can create a life that you truly design in just one hour a day. And this is my story. Welcome to the Fair Business Australia podcast. Future-proof your business, impact your community. I'm your host, Rebecca Lloyd. Welcome, Fair Business Australians, to another episode of the Fair Business Australia's podcast. I am so, so, so excited to bring to you today the topic of today's podcast, which is the power in positive persistence. Quite often as small business owners, we can do the grind, we can do the daily, we can get into all the activities, but not really enjoy the journey or we can enjoy the journey, go after shiny objects and kind of forget the importance of the persistent work that goes along with running a business and not just a hobby. It is my great, great, great privilege to bring to you today a guest that I've been watching for um, about five years now, Do the Power of Positive Persistence. Joining me all the way from the United States of America, hurrah, is Andrea Eber. Welcome, Andrea. I think I got your surname wrong. How do you actually pronounce your surname? Abert. Abert. And where does that actually come from? My husband is from Germany. So he's from Berlin. Yeah. But here in America, we've just like, you know, we're used to just saying Ebert and just being done with it. (laughs) And just be done with it. (laughs) That's what we do in Australia, right? We just be done with things. No one gets anyone's name right over here. That's why we shorten everything. So So tell us, Andrea, I've known you for about five years now. We've never met in person, but we have followed one another's journey for quite some time now on social media. And where did you meet your husband? Uh, What's the story there? We'll we'll go through, I think, a little bit linearly so that you can get to know Andrea. Um, But but before we do that, what is your business? Who do you help? Why do you help them? And what do you help them with? I First of all, I'm so tickled to be here. Every When I'm in your presence, Beck, I, I just lit up. Like I feel like it's seven o'clock. It's been a long day here and I just feel so lit up. So thank you for having me. Um, what is my business? My I With a network marketing company, um, I feel very passionate that we have the solutions for root cause in today's day and age. But what I'm so passionate about is actually this industry because, you know, we've all come through 2020. Back, you and I communicated a lot during that time and, and it was just so... I just feel so completely convicted that we live in the matrix. We live in such a fake world and that each one of us is a slave in that fake world and that we have to buy our freedom. Just like the slaves in the United States of America, many people don't know, they could actually buy their freedom back then. And I feel like we're all in the same position. Uh, We can all get sick care. We can all get like the things that the government will give us. We can get government food and handouts. But if we want to live an abundant life, um, and live on purpose, then we have to be entrepreneurs. And I love this mission. I feel like this industry back is the easiest way for someone to become an entrepreneur. Someone who has, you know, they don't have money. They may not even have skill. They may not even have friends. Like you could start from nothing and then you can just, you, you get your foot in the door and you have a whole team coaching systems to help you kind of learn your way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That is the American dream, isn't it? Well, it's the Australian dream as well. We all yeah. want to be able to own our freedom, to be able to purchase our freedom, as you say. Quite often we get caught up in the go to school for 13 years, then go to college, university for however many years, then get yourself a mortgage and then you're trapped into debt for the rest of your life. So so who who are the group of people that your products actually help or your services? Like, well, tell us more about what you actually do within this network marketing model. Okay, excellent. It's very unique. It's it's nutrigenomics. And so it's not supplements. It would you would look at it like a supplement company, but it's biohacking. And what biohacking means is you're you're using herbs, but they're not there as a supplement. They're actually there in a synergy to activate these masterful healing pa- pathways that God put in our body. So literally it's like turning on the the like having a fine tuner piano come in and just fine tune your piano and everything is playing the way it's supposed to be. So our body is the miracle. We're just turning it on. Wow. And so what kind of what kind of um, ailments would you say this biohacking is able to treat, solve? Like where do we fall on that? Well, we can't. We're in the matrix, so we can't treat, prevent, cure, mitigate disease. <laughs> but <laughs> what, it, what it's doing is I'll say when you get to the root cause, so this, the root cause of all disease, whatever's going on in the body, it doesn't matter if it's infertility or Alzheimer's or cancer or mood disorders or 
you know, everything at the cellular level, it's oxidative stress, even before you get to the gut, because the gut is also very important, but even a deeper layer is cellular health. And so what these products do with, when activating that pathway is it reduces the oxidative stress by 40 to 70% in the first 30 days. So it's, it's wow. very, and then once that's happening, you suddenly are fertile. You, the cancer that was brewing is not there. And so what's so fascinating is there is so much science on this. So there's PubMed.gov is this national database for scientific and medical research. And just the one product we have, the flag, flagship products has been reviewed 28 times by John Hopkins, Mayo Clinic, American Heart Association, because of how profound it is. And many people don't really understand how important that is unless you're in the medical field. And then when you realize there's something all natural that has that many studies, you're like, that's a unicorn. If it has two, it's a unicorn. If it has 28 like ours, it's just kind of unheard of. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's been peer reviewed 28 times yes. and has been proven to be able to talk the talk as well as walk the walk. Exactly. And so the, that's the beautiful yeah. thing is we know in every single human, it's going to work because we know with the empirical data, what it's going to do in each person's body. Then there's the humbling thing on the outside is you're like, I know, I know scientifically it's going to do this in your body in the first 30 days and in the first 90 days, but it's beautiful to see each person because everybody's so unique, how their body works and, and what, what happens. It's really just been kind of a blessing to just kind of witness that the last five years. And I feel like if wow. I could do, yeah, and it, it takes away the mystery of disease. We're all, we all, allopathic medicine treats everything like it's a willy nilly, you know, like, oh, you just got cancer, came out of nowhere. We don't know where that is. All the heart conditions today, we don't know where that happened, you know, mm -hmm. well, you know like mm -hmm. they just, they, and then there's a medicine for everything. So they treat it with a medication because they're not treating the root, they're treating a symptom. And that those medications are ca causing a cascade of other things to go wrong with the body, which for which there's more medications and then eventually surgery. And then eventually, you know, you have a maybe a longer a life, but it, the quality of life is not good. And then eventually you kick the bucket. <laughs> mm, mm, I hear you. So we're talking about oxidative stress. We're talking about a product that's been reviewed 28 times. We're talking about a whole bunch of different ailments that seemingly go away coincidentally at the same kind of market time that you've been on this for about 30 days, 28 days. But how has this impacted your personal life? Like I know you're married. Um, I know the answer to this question, but for everybody else, do you have children? If so, how many do you have? What are their ages? So we have eight children. We have four boys, four girls. Um, they are ages 15, 13, 10, oh gosh, eight, six, four, two, and eight months. Wow. And she looks like that, ladies and gentlemen. Now, <laughs> I know that you are, um, I know you're passionate about this and you're not just what, what a lot of us would typically understand the network marketing to be, that there's a very, very successful person here, but then over here, you've got people that are just getting started and they can tend to be you know, persistent in all the wrong ways. So, but I've seen you do this with a real elegance about you and enjoying the journey along the way. Um, and I've seen you really embrace what we refer to in marketing terms as attraction marketing, where you just share, you share your life, you share valuable information. And if somebody wants to reach out to you, then they are able to do that. And I've watched you again with huge amounts of elegance, uh, Andrea, be able to do that. So, so for someone who's watching this Zoom going, well, you know, it all sounds well and good, but I had a bad experience back in the 80s or the 90s or, you know, my uncle's sister's girlfriend's dog was a network marketer and I just don't think that's for me. And like, how does someone even make network marketing work in, today, in today's age? Because my understanding is, um, having done a stint in network marketing, network marketing is literally about 30 years ahead of its time because it comes out of visionary practices. Would you agree with that? How would you say network marketing has fit in and around your very busy schedule of being a wife and being a mother to eight children and being out on the road, which we'll talk about in a little while? That's such a good question. And you have to be a visionary to do this kind of work because you, you're yeah. so different from from having a job where you you show up 10 hours, you get paid 10 hours, you have to have the vision. And thank God I had the vision when I came to this, because my experience with network marketing is I thought women thought they had a business. That's what I thought it was. When I knew women who did oils, or I had a friend who did this, I thought, oh, they think they have a business, bless them. That's cute. Let me like, I just I, I didn't know what it was. I thought they bothered friends and family and that sort of thing. 
but my husband and I, we were so desperate to, to, to find a better life for ourselves because he's a chef and uh, he just worked weekends, holidays, everything. And we just couldn't get ahead. We didn't have debt. We were trying to do Dave Ramsey, who is a financial guru here for, for spending cash, not being in debt and that sort of thing. And we just couldn't get ahead. And then we didn't want to limit some areas of our life. We still had big dreams of things we wanted to do and uh, and wanted time together as a family and wanted to, you know, if you want to live holistically today uh, and you want to have a big family and things that society isn't, you know, aren't the standard, the standard in society, you have to do something different. And so then we were introduced to network marketing from a business perspective after almost opening a restaurant, so almost open, almost investing that much money. My husband and I did a business plan. We were so close to opening this restaurant and thank God we didn't. But when we were shown network marketing from that perspective and with more mature lens, we were like, this is the best business model ever. Suddenly we saw what it was. We saw that it was a global business, the global opportunity. We saw um, that there was a company to support us. There was little investment. There was no staff, no overhead like we needed. But we, and we understood what, what we could happen, what, what the potential was in the business and where we needed to start. And so we we had that big vision right from the beginning. So I think it's important if you get into this business, you have a big vision and that you and you come in with a mature mindset because we my husband and I knew when we when we were going to do the restaurant, we potentially would, would have not paid ourselves for three years. And we would have been looking at a very risky investment where restaurants typically shut down in the first year. Five years, you know, about 80 percent of them are gone and maybe 90 percent are gone in 10 years. So you have to be very, very, very good to stay competitive. And so I knew also that if I was going to be, you know, in a restaurant that I was we were going to, you know, do marketing, we were going to do customer service and all these things. So it's really great if you can come into this business with a, a professional um, view of it and give it the respect that it deserves. So many people don't even think of it as a business or, you know, but if if you're putting your name on it, it, it gives you a totally different perspective. Mm. And and what would have happened if you had have done business because it was only two or three years later, if you had have made it that far that COVID and everything is shut down exactly. anyway. Exactly. So, and it would have never given us the time freedom we wanted as a family. I in fact yeah. it would have been worse for a while because the plan was yes. because we were desperate. I was gonna go work in the front of the restaurant, my husband was gonna be the chef in the back, and then we had four children at the time, actually five, um, was pregnant with a fifth. And it was like, what were we going to do with our kids? We were going to get a nanny. I was going to get my mom to help. And it would be even worse, but we would be willing to do all that just because we thought the restaurant was our, our avenue to a better life in the future. Yes. It's astonishing what people will do because they believe that what they're embarking on is the avenue for the future. They will give up almost everything. I mean, you would have given up three of your kids because you guys would have been tired. There wouldn't yeah. have been three more children, ladies and gentlemen. They would have <laughs> only been the first five. But I think it's really interesting that um, what does seem too good to be true, which, which is that is the network marketing vision of if you stick it out and you do the system for the, the defined period of time, you will be successful. And it's statistically proven. So what have you been doing instead of working 16-hour days in a restaurant that you own yourselves? You have uh, relinquished control of everybody else and you have in, uh, got more control of yourself and your family. And what have you been able to do with that control? Because I, I know right now you're not sitting in your own home. So where are you and what have you been doing for the last three years? Lovely. Okay. So it took three years to build. I'll back up a little bit. When we started this business, we were introduced to attraction marketing. And that's what, that's why we joined the company we were with and the team we're on because it's an attraction marketing team. It's a social media team. And what's so beautiful about that is you, and, and we've refined it more and more. I've been doing this for five years. So we've really refined this, this idea. We have a success system for everyone to start with. So everyone gets trained on this attraction marketing. But basically marketing in, in network marketing is not like the branding that you would think about in Hollywood or corporate America. Branding is you being authentically who God called you to be and you know setting the world on fire with that vision that he's put on your heart, right? 
Um, and, and we're each so unique and we each have a different skill set. And we, de- we, there is the truth, like the universal God truth. And then there's these little truths that God's put on our part. This is my battle. This is something he wants me to fight for. Right. And I get to do that in this arena, which is really beautiful. And you learn how to share it on social media, share your life on social media. And the beautiful thing is you can't be boring. Like if you are someone that just watches TV all day and eats chips, then what value are you going to bring to the world? So it challenges you. Like I have to go read a good book. So I have something to share because I, I have to go live. I have to show my face. I've got to show up and and give value to people and show them that there's a better way. So first of all, you have to have that vision to show people like I'm going over here. Do you want to come with me? There's something better for us because I can Mm. relate to the struggle of what you're dealing with. Right. Mm. So we really fine tune that. And the rate I was able to do that with five children and my husband working these long hours as a chef, because I just made my life, my content. And we teach you how to do that. So even if you're on a farm and you think your life is, is boring, your chicken having eggs that morning is your content. You know, you don't have to overthink it. Right. Um, yeah. The sermon you heard on Sunday is your content. You're like, wow, I got so filled up today. Let me just tell you about this, what I heard. And actually I, I'm fired up from a sermon we heard today because it's Sunday for us over here. Um, and it was in, actually, I'll, well, I'll go into the next part, but it took three years of doing this to build a team and to, and actually a global team. And then my husband was able to quit his job and we've been RVing around the country, the United States for the last two years, about 25 months right now. And it's wow. been, you know, I love my husband so much and to have this time with him and to have our children, especially our older sons, 15 and 13, have this kind of quality time with their dad for the last two years and hike Mount St. Helens with their dad. Or we went to the Grand Canyon all over America, all over the Oregon coast, all over the States, East and West down South. And for these kids to have that time with their dad is I I believe that's the real, that's the real American dream because oftentimes we think it's the stay at home mom is traditional and the work, go to work dad. But if we go back before the um, industrial revolution, it was mom and dad at home with the family business or the farm. And so the dad was kind of always around the children and the concept of the dad being gone all the time is, is foreign, right? This is actually not the way Mm. it's supposed to be. It's not the most wholesome way. And so Mm. we've had this and it's been, It's been so beautiful. And another thing I love back about this journey is going back to the sermon we heard earlier today, the priest was talking about being all in for God, you know, and and just talking about people like how we quit or how we have an emotional faith. And so when things don't go our way, we, you know, we quit, we, we, um, we back out or, uh, Mm. I wish I can go into detail, but everything he was saying, I looked at my husband and said, oh my gosh, this is, this could be a talk for our business, for our team right here. Everything is talking about that applies to the faith because you have to be a virtuous person to, to do this. You've got to have grit. You've got to have faith. I think entrepreneurship is a faith journey because you're Mm. not getting that guaranteed paycheck every week. And you're kind of trusting that God will provide those connections. You know, the universe that he created is just going to align and send you what you need when you're looking for it and asking for it. Um, And it is beautiful to see it. And then there's times that you don't see it coming and you have to keep being showing up and trusting the process. So it's, it's a lot like the faith, you know, you, you know, it's true. You, sh- you share the gospel, you share some truths, but you don't know how it's going to land or you don't know how that person's going to mm. receive it. And it's not necessarily just, you know, even the gospel, it's any truth, any truth comes from the higher being. It's so anytime you share that truth, you're just sort of trusting that you're doing the right thing and you're, you know, and, and you don't know where it's going to land, but that's not, that's not up to you. You're just doing the mm. right thing. So we have a lot of the behaviors we do, which is like a checklist. We call it the daily method of operation. So it's something you would do every single day if you were going to show up online with attraction marketing and learn how to do it. And um, and you just do it every single day. And I've, I've never, like you said, I've never made excuses. Uh, so I've had three babies in this journey and you know, I'm, I don't take a month off. I don't take a week off. There will be a point in my business that we can do that. Um, but right now I continue to propel it forward to keep it going, keep that momentum going. Yeah. Wow. Oh gosh. So much, so much in that. Wow. So uh, do you have people in your team that are not uh, spiritually minded? I mean, I feel feel most people after COVID are spiritually minded. They might have a different term of reference or a different word that they use, but do you have people that are still not spiritual at all? You know, I think I, I think who I attract 
is the truth seeker. That's what I feel like. So not even necessarily a particular religion. I feel like 2020 was so interesting for me because you saw that it didn't matter if some people went to church, they were so like not connected. (laughs) They were just that connected with what was going on with truth. They were just like praying for a vaccine and, and, you know, doing the right thing by social distancing and doing all the, the things that were being determined and commanded by the state and not really looking into their hearts and souls to what was true and what was going on and what was being programmed and the manipulation and all the things that were happening. Um, And I realized there was this beautiful 5% of people that were just so awake and it didn't matter what religion they were in or what part of the world they were in. And though I, in that moment, I was like, these are my people. These are my, the the ones that are just, this doesn't seem right. You know, they, they have that intuitive knowing or, um, I, I don't know what it is. Like it's it they're they're alive, they're they're awake and they're looking yeah. for they're connected to 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 that truth to to the universal universe and to the to God ultimately. Mm, so good. So good. I love speaking with someone that is so awake but so balanced and so practical as well as being visionary. So um uh, I love stories. So let's talk about some stories uh, of people that have tried and benefited from the biohacking that you speak about in your business. I have to think about where to start because it's been five years of incredible stories, but I have a, I have so, there's so many, there's, there was this guy who had pancreatic cancer and he was told um, with pancreatic cancer, usually they have five years to live. That's what the allopathic medicine kind of predetermines, no matter what sort of approach they take chemo or whatever you, they can generally give you five years. And so this man was written off, told to go home and prepare things um, for his funeral. And so this gentleman comes back to the hospital eight years later and he has, and this is before me, this is just one of our stories before, but I've seen so many, but he comes back eight years later and he has a completely unrelated health issue. And so the doctor is like looking through his files and he's like, wait a second, this is really puzzling. So he ran tests on him and he was completely cancer free. And so he said, what, what is this? uh, What have you been doing? And so that case is actually recorded in a medical journal here from the doctor uh, saying what he took. And basically he was just activating the natural healing pathways in his body is what he was doing. He went home and activated his body. And, and the, these kinds of things happen. I have a, a gentleman friend who came to me who was very healthy. So that that's another thing. Like we have people who aren't necessarily, we have people who are proactive in their health and they're still getting sick. And that's because we live in biological warfare. Whether people understand it or not, we're 24 seven coming up against toxins, herbicides, pesticides, EMS, fuel emissions, turn on the news and you see that it's designed to keep us in a constant state of stress, jealousy, low vibration, um, you know, fear, all those things. Right. So th- that's where people are coming from. And even if they're doing things well, the body, the outside supplements or the not keep up with the, it can't keep up with the free radical damage we're facing today. We have load upon load, trillions of free radicals and the antioxidants we take on the outside, combat them one to one to one to one. So when you activate the internal path of your body, it's a million to one. So now it's a million to one every single second of the day, you're neutralizing the free radicals. That's how powerful the body is when you, when you turn it on. And so it would be like paying off the national debt. I'm sure Australia has some kind of national debt too, because it's all the same with the, it's all the same. It's no more like, like different countries. It's like, we're, it's, it's the truthers, the awake people and the non awake people. So it would be like paying off the, the national debt with a dollar bill versus a, a million dollar bill. If I was handing you a million dollars and a million dollars and a million dollars and a million dollars, we would suddenly start making an impact and a dent on, on that, that debt, where if I just paid you a dollar, it would just be, it, it, we wouldn't get anywhere. Right. Yeah. And so that's, you see that happening again and again. So things like fertility coming back, you know, our, our allopathic medicine acts like, oh, you have this. So your only thing is IVF or this. No, the body can completely conceive, give birth and it's a healthy baby. And all those things when the body is doing what it's supposed to be doing. And so that's what activating these pathways does. So we've seen fertility. There's it's documented in the truth about cancer documentary. The studies online are about MS, um, heart disease. We've just seen so many incredible things. 
like I have a, someone who is on our right now we have an activated collagen is probably my favorite that and the NRF2 are my two favorite products. The NRF2 is that master healing pathway. The collagen is activating collagen and those two together are just a powerhouse of healing, absolute powerhouse of healing. And again, it's turning on your own bodies, making the collagen again, the pathway mm. activated again. And so we're mm. seeing people who were on heart transplant uh, schedules, completely canceling them and then actually getting off their medication completely. We're wow. seeing like a friend and, you know, a friend of mine had a tumor in his, in his lungs completely went away after four, four months on activation. Wow. So again, like this, this gentleman who had the tumor, he lives a very healthy lifestyle, but he is someone who was exposed to agent orange. He was in the military, our military, both we, we discussed this before, both in Australia and the States and, and worldwide, they're exposed to so many toxins that are injected into them or just in the battlefield. And so he, a lot of what was going on was just leftovers from that, just brewing in his body mm. and a place to kind of leave or, or finally put out the fire. And so it was like, this is the one thing that's going to actually squelch that fire. And so there's so many stories, but then I can get so non-compliant. So just message me and I'll, <laughs> I'll connect you to some information or to our, um, we have a really incredible wellness group that I can invite you to. And it, it has a lot of testimonials. It has the science. And then uh, we also yeah. do wellness webinars every Wednesday. Wow. I mean, the collagen gets me very excited. I have seen quite a lot of the photos that uh, Andrea has put up about the different collagens that are for and afters. And being in my almost mid 40s, that certainly does interest me a great deal. But let's talk about what does it actually require from you? Because when you go and get a job, you know, you have to turn up from this time to that time. These are your KPIs. This is your daily tasks list. Da, da, da. Uh, I know you spoke about a daily attraction marketing list. Could a busy mum of two, three, or four do something like this? Could someone do it as what they term a side hustle consistently enough where they could have a pathway out of their just over broke job? Absolutely. I think it could be done in an hour a day. Especially in the day. beginning. In the beginning, oh. you don't have a team. You're you're just starting. So if you can put in an hour, and, and that's with your personal development. That's with you getting a really mm. good book and reading a really good book to fill your mind, to give value to others. If you did 15 minutes, 20 minutes of that every single day and your little checklist, it would be about an hour. And not only that, but imagine like you're a busy mom with three kids. So what's going on in your life? What did you make for breakfast that day that you feel is like healthy and nutritious? Or maybe it's just quick and easy. And you're like, guys, this was such an easy meal. I love this. This made my life so much easier today. We had three kids and we got out the door much faster this way. Or you can just take a picture and say, actually, we had a really crazy morning. So-and-so spilt milk. Oh, I hope you guys are having a better day than me. Like that could, that could be your genuine post. And, and it's get, allowing people to get to know you. It's, it's, it's bonding with people, talking about real things, real struggles. And, and actually your life is your message. So we can certainly incorporate it. And the, the busier your life is, the more, again, interesting it is. And the more content you actually have. Mm, so good. So folks. 28 peer-reviewed studies, we know that the product works. We also know that if you just showed up one day a week for your job, you'd probably get fired. We also know if you only showed up one day a month for football training, you probably wouldn't get any better at sports. Network marketing, it's not going anywhere. It is growing. It did go through grow through COVID, and I know that. So, so my, I think my final question would be for you, Andrea, is watching this and going, yeah, I, look, the product sounds great. I'm interested to learn more. I hate my job or I hate my business or I'm up to my eyeballs in debt and I really need another pathway. I don't want my kids to end up in the same lifestyle that I was sold this lie about just go to university, get a degree and then spend the rest of your life paying off a mortgage. But am I actually going to get some decent time with my coaches like, are you so far up the food chain that no one ever gets to talk to you? Like, what does that actually look like from uh, from a community and a um, support point of view in your business? I love your questions. <laughs> no, so if if you're on our team, you get one on one coaching, and it, and it it's at your pace. So you're not. We have to respect the person that signs up. Ultimately, you set the pace of how how you want to go. So if you're going to show up once a week or once a month or, you know, go into witness protection, <laughs> then that's that's <laughs> up to you. No one's going to call and harass.
But if, if someone wants this and wants the coaching, wants direction, we're right there. And we have a system to plug you into so that you have your hand held for the first 30 days. Like this is exactly your attraction marketing. This is what you're going to do every single day as a coaching session, teaching session, so that by the end of the 30 days, you kind of have a good idea of what attraction marketing is and how to do it. And then it's just about fine tuning it. Right. And then that's when you work closely with your mentor. And that would be, you know, the person that enrolled you to, that signed you up. And the beautiful thing is the company is still very small. Like we're just at the peak right before momentum right now. So I believe that this activation is going to be a household name in, in two, two, maybe three years tops. It will be in every single house. So we're in an exciting time right now, but still the company is very small. Like a look at um, different companies' conventions, and I'm just amazed. They have like these football arenas or like really, really big things. And ours is still very intimate that I personally know all the top leaders of our company. Because it because we were we're we're just a the biggest secret, <laughs> the biggest kept secret. And and everyone is so close. And I would say the beautiful thing about this company too is the culture in the company. So we have a lot of cross line leaders actually working with each other. And some companies that's frowned upon or you can't go talk to another um you know, cross line cousins or whatever, just because of competition and that sort of thing. But this is everyone is motivated to learn, to help, to teach, to grow, to share content, to come together, to create content. And and also, I, I believe that there's something special about the culture where when you understand activation and you also understand the situation of what what's going on in our world today and how we need real solutions, we need real health mm -hmm. solutions, we need real monetary solutions because we are all... You, it's designed to keep you broken sick. That's, you know, it's designed to keep you ba barely enough things to keep you, to keep you happy. You know, the, the little toys you get to, you know, to just satiate you, but ultimately you're a slave, you, you, you're subject to sick care and whatever, whatever the system can give you. So yeah, if someone has a big desire back and, and I certainly have a big desire to get out of that, um, you know, for example, like if I ever, was diagnosed with something like cancer or, or anything, or my children had any, any issues come up. There's no way I would do allopathic medicine. That's, that's how convicted I am that the, the, they do not have solutions there. They will drug you. They will take out organs, you know, and, and they'll play with your body until, you know, they give you some poor pathetic years, <laughs> you know, that they add on or months and that's it. So I would, I would choose so many different things, but all of those things that I would choose are out of pocket. They're not covered by sick care. You have to ask yourself why. Yeah. Just wanted to let that hang because that was an awkward moment and that needed to, to marinate just there. That's really interesting, isn't it? It is. Mm -hmm. I think 2020 was a real blessing. I think that some people understood it before, but it was just, it was a really, it was a beautiful time. It was a beautiful blessing. Mm -hmm. And also people learned to work from home. They learned to understand this new way of living or getting on mm -hmm. a call or listening to podcasts. And it, it's really, truly the way of the future. It really is. It really is the way of the future. I mean, before COVID, no one would have, I worked, uh, I, I worked with mothers a lot. And they were always gunning for that four-day work week. We just want to do one day from home. We just want to do one from day from home. And now, part of the great resignation, and companies are screaming, what do you want? What do you want? We'll pay you. We'll pay you. Just stay. Just stay. Because people now, they want to work from home or they want to be at home with their kids and they don't want their children growing up to the lifestyle that they have been living the past 10, 20, 30 years and so, Andrea, you, you, you're you happily, very happily married. I, I, I watch Andrea on socials all the time for five years, so I can personally attest that that this walk that she's done, I met her when she was only first, first in the, the company that she's in now, very happily married, just had the eighth child and, and had it so gloriously that she didn't even know she was pregnant for the first three months because she was so well that she had, like, tiniest spot of morning sickness and thought, oh, what is this? Why am I gaining a little bit of weight? Oh, wait, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and I watched that pregnancy and that was delightful. Had a beautiful home birth, just the most wonderful earthy mama you could ever hope to come across. 
and you do work from home, even though home is on the road because she RVs around and has the most amazing photos of all around America, little tots wandering along through all these canyons and different places, absolutely stunning. So, folks, if you are really ready to get away from your job or you've had it up to your eyeballs with the business that you're in and you think, you know what, this is, this is just not what I want. I got into business for freedom or I got into my job for stability, not for slavery, and you really want something different, then I would suggest to you, because I have watched Andrea for five years, that you take a look at what Andrea is doing. The stories speak for themselves, peer-reviewed studies. There are so many, so many photos. I see them on an almost daily basis. So how would somebody get involved uh, in this company? I believe there's a website that they can go to and take a look around. Yes, um... There is a AE Lifestyle Design. It's like Andrea Abert, AE Lifestyle Design. Lifevantage.com is my website. And yeah, feel free to connect with me on social media. I'm Andrea Abert on social media. On YouTube, we are Freeway Tribe. That's my family's YouTube channel. And we have some other content from the business on that channel as well. So awesome. Look, is there anything else that uh, just before we go, I'd love for you to speak briefly about your vision for America. The America that you grew up in is not the America that you're living in now, but what do you see for the next, well, because you tend to be kind of be that way on the spectrum, what do you see for the next seven years going up to 2030, which is going to be, no secrets, our great reset? Do you know, um, I, I, I see this as a time to, to buy our freedom more than, more than anything. That you see so many people hungry and it's, it's, there's so many paths to freedom. I remember when I was looking for ways to earn extra money from home because I never wanted to go back to work once I had kids. I, I would Google like work from home opportunities and I would, it was so difficult to find anything. And then I would apply for these things because there were jobs that were available and I wouldn't get them because I wasn't qualified or I didn't have the right experience or so on and so forth. You had to interview and all the stuff that I hated. And um, today I feel like they're the, the problem is the other side of the spectrum because ads and marketing have gotten so good that if I were to type in work from home opportunity, now a thousand things would pop up. So we have a different problem right now. You have to pick one thing. And I hear, I've seen so many people go all over the place with what they pick um, because there is just so much and you don't want to miss out on anything. Or I talk to people who hear about having seven streams of income and how important that is. And so they're, they're dabbling in everything and not having any success. And so it's really important to pick one thing, stick with it, be persistent, like Beck said, understand what happens at the end and, and don't waver. You stick with it until it sticks to you. God will reward you. Like you meet him halfway, you will grow because ultimately when you become very successful in this business, the person you are on stage is not the person you are, were when you signed up. You will grow, mm. you will stretch, you will become uncomfortable. You will become now suddenly comfortable in, in, in doing things that what made you so uncomfortable before and just continue to stretch, run into situations, run into people um, and really put yourself out there. And if you're feeding yourself, you know, the per personal development every single day, it can't help but stretch you. So I, what I will say back is that what I do love about this industry, what I talk to people about is because there's so many things offered out online. For example, if you wanted to work on Amazon, you can find so many courses to pay for and they'll range in price. And, and the lower the price, maybe two, three hundred, five hundred, a thousand dollars, you're just getting a system, but no coaching. And if you want the coaching, you can pay twenty thousand, twenty five thousand, thirty thousand to get the coaching. What I love about this business is the systems are already there. They exist in the team that you join. You have to actually check that before you join a team. Not, they don't all have systems. But a good team should have systems in place for you to be onboarded, should have the coaching in place. And, and the kind of coaching that you get in network marketing is bar none. It's, it's, and you know this from your experience in the company you're with. They have excellent, excellent um, personal development. That that is next level. Like to get that on your own, if you were a, if you were a real estate agent and you wanted to pay for that level of training, you would pay some very big bucks to get it. So you get access to all of this with that very minimum price. And the reason is that the coaching becomes free because ultimately the person who's bringing you on is just as motivated as you are for you to succeed. Just as motivated. Yeah. They need you to rise up so that they can also go up. 
And it's a beautiful, beautiful way to do life. You know, they're reaching down to help you. You're reaching up. And it's, it's, I can't think of a more beautiful way. I mean, that sounds idealistic, but truly, I mean, when, when you say it like that, it really is. Yeah, I think, I think almost it would be a a really lovely idea for the people watching to actually replace the word coaching with mentorship. That whilst you're reaching up and being mentored by someone above you, once you have that little bit of growth, you can reach down and help the next person who was it was where you were three, four, five, six months ago to come up. And, and that's where coaching has somewhat got a little bit of a greasy word at times that you have these people that come in and that are very self-focused and they don't care when, where this type of coaching is very different and it, because if, if all ships rise in a high tide, right? Yes. All ships rise in a high tide. So, folks, if you uh, are ready to get out of your job, ready to get out of your business, ready to take a look at something else, learn the power of positive persistence in only an hour a day rather than getting on your reels and procrastinating because as soon as you go to sleep, you've got to wake up and it's your job again the next day because I know you guys have got an hour a day. I know that. Uh, Apparently, statistically, people spend about six to seven hours a day on their devices and or TV. So I know that there's time there. You can reach out to the website. Uh, There is a link that you can click that will give you all of those details that Andrea spoke about just a moment ago. Um, And any final words before we let you go, Andrea? So I would say, start to dream, pretend everything was possible. So start to write down what you would really like. If you could have anything you wanted, where would you like to go travel? What would your home look like? What kind of car would you like? Where where would you like to send your kids to school? What what would you like your day to look like? What would, What kind of friendships would you like to have in your life, right? Really start to put those down and then understand that it's possible. That's That's huge. I remember the first time I started to write things down, I felt like I was the biggest liar. Because I felt like it was such a, like I was just writing a lie after lie after lie that my life could actually be like that. And in it's so, it's such a good practice to do. So just start to dream and then really pray and look for a way to make that a reality. And I am telling you, it will, it will start to come to you. It's that law of attraction. It's that manifestation. It's just the principle and the way things, things work. So good. Thank you so much for being my guest today, Andrea. Folks, we'll check back in with Andrea in a few uh, six to 12 months' time, see how she's going, see how much her team has grown in that time, which of the states she's not RVD and yet I'm sure she'll get to RV in them because she has done a lot of travels. But thank you once again for being our guests for Fair Business Australia podcast. If you're interested in coming on and sharing your story with uh, what is 120,000 and growing Uh, audience people. We'd love to have you do check it out on the website. And we'll look forward to speaking with you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Remember, you're awesome. Chat soon and God bless. Have you got a great business or community initiative you'd like to share with our podcast audience? We'd love to hear from you. Reach out to us today at fairbusinessaustralia.com.au.